you're right people chaos here today going over a lovely choice that i like to use with my black templars and that is the land raider crusader i've got its statistics here and i want to go over how i believe you can use it to its benefit and some of the traits i've seen people not quite use correctly hang on in hope you be excited Alright, so the Lamb Raider Crusader. In the law, in the fluff, the Black Templars came across this uh, design first, used it, then the, you know, tech marines and everything found it, tested it, and now everyone can use it. Fair enough. In a nutshell, the Lamb Raider Crusader is a better transport option than a standard Lamb Raider. Alright, but I'll go over that in a minute. It is cheaper than a standard Lamb Raider, but. I digress. Let's see the stats. Its wounds are 16. That's its maximum. So obviously when its wounds go down, it will go down in its effectiveness. So full movement 10. Weapon skill 6 plus. Ballistic skill 3 plus. Strength 8. Toughness 8. 16 wounds as I said. Pardon me. 6 attacks. Leadership 9. 2 up armor save. 16 to 9 wounds it is full when it's an 8 to 5 wounds it's 5 inch movement ballistic skill 4 attacks d6 when it's an 1 to 4 wounds it's a 3 inch movement hits on a 5 for ballistic and 1 attack so it does take a bit of a hammering but it has to take 8 wounds before it drops down the bracket which is amazing with a toughness 8 vehicle it's equipped with a twin assault cannon plenty of dacker as you may say and two hurricane bolters a lot of shots i know they're strength four but that's still a lot of shots you can equip it with a hunter killer missile a multi melter and a storm bolter uh let's go over its transportation first a minute and that is, this can transport up to 16 infantry models. Um, for jump pack models or terminator models, they take two spaces per slot. Centurions take three, but you cannot transport Primaris Marines. So that's 16 normal guys, that's eight jump, jump pack or terminators, and that's five centurions. That's really quite good because the standard land raider is only 10 standard infantry but you don't have access to last cannons or anything like that it is hurricane bolters so you can see where this is going this is very much as i put it anti-infantry transportation all right it's not really meant to go against terminators or wraiths or anything like that that can take an, a good armor say it is against horde armies you know, guard, nids, things like that, Eldar with their four up arm safe, it will certainly chew through them. Um, its abilities is the normal smoke launcher once per game. Instead of shooting, you deploy your smoke launcher, uh, subtract one from your enemy's hit to shoot at the Lamb Raider. Fair enough. Power of the Machine Spirit. Lamb Raiders have this. If they move, they do not suffer a penalty for shooting the heavy weapons. So you don't have a penalty for your assault cannon. Perfect. Also, being a vehicle, it will explode uh, on a 6+, plus if you go down to zero wounds. Fair enough. The little extra is the frag assault launchers. On a roll of a D6, you roll a D6 each time this model finishes a charge move within one inch of an enemy unit. On a 4+, plus, that unit suffers D3 more wounds. <sighs> I'm very much on the fence with that one. Alright. Now, I'll go over that in a minute, but um, it's Fraction Keywords, Imperium, Astrum, uh, Adeptus, Astartes, and its chapter. Then the Keywords, Vehicle, Transport, Lamb Raider, Lamb Raider, Crusader. Simple as. So, this is a lot of shots. They're not high-powered shots, 
like a last cannon or anything like that, they're just a lot of shots. You basically go up to your opponent and go, roll these saves. You just drop your dice, right? Now, the way I like to run Crusaders is either a big blob of Crusaders or like multiple blobs, so like three five band squads and maybe a chaplain in there and just charge up and go deal with this while I'm shooting you on the way up because everything in 8th edition can get killed so easily, all right? It is still very gunline. Assault's really, really good, don't get me wrong, but you still got gun lines. So this just chews up through, takes a lot of damage, eight wounds before it even slows down, and then you disembark. Uh, or, as a friend of mine found out, which was quite scary, is Terminators. Just putting a big blob of eight Terminators in there and disembark them that way. Um, with the frag launcher, I would say that's only really the... If you haven't got an option to shoot at, inverted commas, say for example your Templars are all in combat to all the units that are in front of you, so you've got nothing you can shoot at, but you've got somehow a gap in between. It's very situational. Charge a Crusader in to cause a couple mortal wounds, maybe at something that is very spongy or just like if there's a rogue Terminator that's going around and you can't shoot it because it's in combat, just smack this Crusader in. Chance of causing a mortal wound or two mortal wounds or three mortal wounds, getting rid of that Terminator. As I said, is very situational. Please put it down below if you've seen it used any other way. I haven't seen a lot of players use that and I haven't used it myself because normally you don't have the chance to actually charge with such a big vehicle. So I would have loved it. I know it would have been quite OP overpowered if they had some option that if you got charged you could have then um, launched out the frag missiles at the people that were charging you. That would have been more beneficial, but hey, it happens. Now, one way that I've been using this, and I learnt how to use it effectively, um, using two, uh, two standard Land Raiders and a Land Raider Crusader with a load of Terminators, it was a nasty list, alright? I'll put it up in another video, 2k list, was then in hindsight, is having a Captain or Hellbreak, a Chapter Master, within a bubble of the Crusader with a Lieutenant. Now, either one could be your Warlord, but not the named character, because then you have the Storm of Fire, all right? Uh, warlord trait. Now, you say if you have a Chapter Master, reroll misses from it. The Lieutenant reroll ones of wounds, and if you roll a six to wound, that AP of that weapon increases by one of a bolt weapon. All his weapons, bar the Hunter Killer Missile and the Multi Melter, are bolt weapons. So you've got Hurricane Bolters increase that AP, Assault Cannon increase that AP, Storm Bolter increase that AP. I've been charged by this now with Hellbreck behind it with a Lieutenant. I got charged by a, a seven man Gene Stealer squad. They are brutal when they get into close combat. I got charged. Overwatch, I killed them because I had the Hurricane Bolters, six rapid fire, 12 on one side, 24. 24 shots of those, re rolling the sixes or re rolling to get the sixes, re rolling the wounds. Then I had the assault cannons, 12 shots from that, re roll the hits, re roll the wounds when I got them on a six, obviously, with the Overwatch. Then I have my Storm Bolter as well, four shots from that re-rolling to get sixes it chewed through them all right because i had obviously the ap option of increasing when i rolled a six to wound it just mulched through them the sheer amount of shots that's just in overwatch let alone when i actually have someone that's within range and i shoot them down it is brutal but i have to emphasize enough this is not anti-vehicle all right if there's a dreadnought in front of you do not try, you can try and shoot it if there's only, say, two wounds left on a Dreadnought. By all means, vomit all your shots. Don't just go, I'm going to shoot my Assault Cannon and my Hurricane Bolt or something else. 
you throw everything you can at that dreadnought because you will get rid of it. Obviously, if you've got a multi melter, that would definitely help because the multi melter has got a 24 inch range. Very useful. But as I said, I cannot emphasize enough this is transportation with a lot of shots, alright? And it is cheaper than the standard Lam Raider. That's why I love them. But I'm going to be going over, you know, future content. Please let me know what units you want me to go over with the Black Templar flair to it and i am going to be bringing out army lists as well and i've got a 2k nasty nasty lose your friends list that i used recently and it was really quite brutal and i'll go over that in the future so if you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't give it a thumbs down comment down below if you've had experience with crusaders or against crusaders what you think of it and stuff like that and if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the video please subscribe to the channel Hit that bell notification, you're more than welcome. So I shall leave you there, hope you have a fantastic day. Take care of yourself, chaos out.